Hello, welcome to this week's House of the Market, Pensacola. Well, it's the last week of September. We're moving into October now after taking that punch from that hurricane. Um, yeah, we are going to see inventory continue to drop, I predict, over the next couple of weeks just because people are going to be snapping up stuff just like they did in Hurricane Ivan. So it'll be a quick show this week. Let's actually get to the numbers right now. Let's go. Alright, so if you've never seen this show, I always start the show off with this slide. It says if we have between six and seven months, we have a neutral market. Anything greater than seven months is considered a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is considered a seller's market. What the slide doesn't say. Anything greater than nine months is considered a hyper buyer's market. Anything less than three months is considered a hyper seller's market. Let's jump straight over here to the numbers this week. We're going to start with Escambia County. Looks like everything under $450,000 is a hyper seller's market. Over here on the left is going to be your list price. On the right is your month's market. That's why I showed that first slide to begin with. 450 to 500,000 is still a seller's market, but it's not quite a hyper seller's market based on our definition. 500 to 550 drops back down to a hyper seller's market. And it looks like everything else follows the seller's market. 700,000 plus or the luxury in Escambia County is just slightly under a neutral market but it is considered a seller's market. So everything in that county is a complete seller's market. And again, in Santa Rosa County, I was complaining about this a year ago before COVID, before Hurricane Sally, that we didn't have enough inventory over there. And as you can see, everything under $650,000 in Santa Rosa County is a hyper seller's market. We have nothing available under $50,000, not even land. And 650 dollars and above is still considered a seller's market. So it's firmly in a seller's market, not really, I guess it's slightly towards a neutral instead of just a full-on seller's, but it is a seller's market. So both counties, full seller's markets. Why do I do this? I do this show every week so that you guys can see trends, so you can understand the trends and what's going on. It helps both the sellers, it helps both the buyers. If you go back and look at last September of 2019, you would see buyer's markets in there. You would see hyper buyer's markets in there. But I'm not trying to make up numbers. I want you to see actual numbers every week. I'm making these a little quicker right now. I want you to see these numbers every week so you can understand what you need to be looking at as far as list price. It's what you need to be looking at as far as making offers because those are two very important aspects of real estate, price and terms. Anyways, let's get into October. The election's coming soon. I'll be glad when that madness is over. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there and don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?